Welcome to Late Night! Oh, right. Now that we're a real show, we kind of have to watch out for that, don't we? It's probably in our best interest if the phone book of a contract we're tied to now has anything to say about it. Well, still, copyright goes too far sometimes, and I say someone should take a stand. But, but what about the internet topic? Hi everyone, welcome back to Late Night. Hell of a show this week. Oh, oh my god. Mario Master, why'd you leave me back at the house? What the fuck are you on? Well, you see, there was a dude who was at a restaurant, and he got his penis burnt. Oh. Yeah, well. That, that's later. So, why'd you run out of the house so quick? I thought we were doing the internet topic. Well, we were, but then I got so fed up on copyright, I'm here at the studio. Figure we might as well do that first. Is this even our studio time? Maybe. How did you Wait. get in here? It was locked! I have ways. I'm too scared to ask. So what's our topic? Well, apparently now we're doing copyright. Because I can't take it anymore. Ugh. Ugh. God, I hate this internet revolution stuff that's going on. SOPA, PIPA, the, even like back in the days when the Let's Plays had copyright issues. You remember that. Yeah, uh, especially with like Rockstar Games and what's the other one? Take Two. Yeah, those guys are assholes. No offense, and... but they're assholes. <laughs> they, they take away our money. Wait, no they don't. What do they take away? Our pride. Why are we fighting for our pride? Well, it's the only thing we have at this point. Touché, Mario Master. Touché. So, let's get into it, shall we? Copyright, copyright infringement, and those copyrighted pirated bastards who say, fuck you, you can't have our stuff. Indeed. What so shall I... we start with? We have a um, myriad of things to choose from. Ah, uh, you can pick the first one. Alright, we shall talk about the internet revolution that's going on with SOPA and PIPA and now SIS... whatever, SISPA. SISPA? Jeez, it's like There's they can't a third come one. up with any... It's like they can't come up with any names. It looks like they took SOPA and PIPA and put it together to make SIS... SIS whatever. They have, they have mutated into a third one. Yeah, I mean, seriously, they need to stop trying to, like, take over our internet. It's ours! You can't fuck with the internet. People have tried. Isn't that what YouTube's doing right now, though? Fucking with the internet? Yeah. Huh. Well, they're fucking with their corner of the internet. Their corner. Their corner of the five million of them. Yeah. Everyone has a little segue. Segment. Of the internet. Segue, what the hell? <laughs> if they have like a little segue of the internet, that would be quite difficult. They have like a little scooter, and they ride it around. <laughs> That's how we, that's how the internet works. Indeed. So, what's your opinion on sopa people streep a peep beep 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 beep? Well, <laughs> they're weird pieces of legislation, aren't they? Gonna, they were going to shut down. Really, the biggest issue that I have with it is that it gives anyone grounds to like shut down a website from one violation, and it could be any sort of violation. With YouTube, especially, it would be like, I don't like this video that's here. And then that's the end of it. YouTube is gone from <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, I read over the bills, and I was like, these are way too extreme. I mean, there's some parts of it that might have made sense, but this is way too far. I mean, I was looking over it, and the extreme level that they were going just to try to, quote-unquote, protect the internet, um, like, w w what was the, like, extended name of it? SOPA was, like, something... What was SOPA? It's like, uh, pr well, I know people's like Protection or something Piracy Act. Protect IP Act. Oh. Well, what was SOPA? Uh, Stop Online Piracy Act. Ah, that, that one was, was the piracy one. Yeah, I mean, people aren't going to stop piracy. Like, for example, um, I think it was Australia or somewhere, they tried to stop 
piracy, and piracy went up like 20%. Yeah. Oh, internet backlash. Where is it legal to pirate stuff again? I think think it's more of the third world nations where they can't really buy stuff, so they have like, yeah. I thought Canada had something that they're allowed to do. Oh. Or is that just porn? Our laws are less strict, but they're still there. We just don't care. Was yours about porn? Hey, you rhyme. I thought yours was about porn. I'm not sure. Something about you guys can pirate porn freely. You and your free health care and free porn. <laughs> That's uh, in our free porn. I love, um, I love how you I'm not cut sure out if it's that, that but, but I think our laws are like... Well. Um, I know our laws are slightly less strict. Like, they, they don't mind if we do pirate, but we can't upload it for some reason. That's how things work. That is a little bit confusing. All right. Um, any more on this topic before we move on to the next part of it? Uh, uh, oh, when when things get like they get taken down, but you can still k- kind of view remnants of them partially. It like blacklists them from Google as well, which is weird. It like takes it down and then blacklists it from Google everywhere. Yeah, I'm still surprised about the whole mega upload like, thing that happened. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, the only casualty in that war. I know. I made a video about how it was the only casualty. Yes. I mean, I lo- truthfully, I really liked their song. It was catchy. M- Didn't they like... Oh, G- there's more A, upload to me today. Mega upload. Are you quite finished? Yes, yes, I am. I'm wonderful. Myself. So they f- <laughs> So they found out that... A lot of those FBI guys actually had Mega Upload accounts. So, is Mega Upload going to have their servers back and everything back? Probably not. Uh, that, but that doesn't make... That's something I don't think makes sense. So, at first you say, okay, all of this shit, that's why we're taking it down. And then suddenly all of their stuff gets proven wrong, and they're still taken down? What is that bullshit? That's called American politics. Wait, 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 hey, 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 Mega Upload was world run, worldwide run. What about that one kid who, if so far people got past, would be forced to come to America to face civil trial, or or not civil, uh, federal court? Which kid was that? I didn't hear about this. Um, there was a kid somewhere in Europe. I know, I'm narrowing it down so well. Um, basically, he was hosting a website where he linked people to where, like, they could look at some movies and stuff. Um, uh-huh. Obviously, movie pirate. It was he wasn't he wasn't pirating anything. He was a third party in. Oh, so he was just linking to piracy. Kind of, yes. It wasn't exactly linking to piracy, but linking. There was like some, some web that led back to that. Uh huh. And um, basically, what happened is he, if so poor people get passed or any of those bills get passed at any time, he could have to. He could be forced out of his country to be put in jail federal, through federal court in America. Hmm. That doesn't seem legit to me. It, like, it is legit. That's it's like a legit story, but it doesn't seem like it should happen. Like, at least he should be just prosecuted in Europe or wherever the hell you said he was from. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Europe is kind of like, we're, we don't want to give you this kid, but if you pass that bill, I guess we kind of have to, because no one wants to start a world war over this stuff. But the problem is, the way that this is going, we're running down the path of becoming a, a fucking world war, and no one wants that to happen. It's like... Oh, the internet wars. God. No, the internet war is becoming like an actual thing. It's slowly seeping into reality and causing so much violence and stuff. I mean, um, like, all this copyright crap. The FBI website was hacked. I mean, for God's sakes, when that happens, you get scared that there is something wrong with your fucking government. Hmm. Even though that I knew that since, like, day one of my life, it was like, I looked at the president and said, you fucked up. Um, <laughs> I, I was, you fucked up the day I was born. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 that's not what I said. Damn it, stop twisting my words. <laughs> you twister of the pervade words. Conveyed words. Um, but yeah, America's always been pretty weird. Hey, 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 Can- Canada's had that. some things. We've had weird but you've had weird 24/7 but and so you has know Australia it. and so has Europe so is I mean 
Then there's the whole Coney 2012 bullshit. And that has nothing to do with copyright, so I'm not going to discuss that. Yeah, um, we're doing that later. There's awesome. our future topic. There's one, yeah. The idiots of the internet. Oh, wait. R would probably not appreciate us doing that. Mm. Anyways. Moving on. Uh, what's the next thing you said? Or Well, like there was internet legislation that we've already done. Mm-hmm. And then there was the Let's Play thing. Ah, yes. Um, people crack down video, on that. Video game companies don't seem to understand Let's Players. What I mean by that is um, video game companies should understand that Let's Players make them money. <laughs> like, there's the people who can't afford the game, period, who watch them, but other people, like, look at it and are like, hey, this looks pretty fun, I think I'll get this game. Not, not, hey, this looks pretty fun, I will watch all the videos of this video game forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. I mean, I like Notch, because Notch is the right kind of person. He says, make whatever the hell you want to make about Minecraft. I'm making billions of dollars, and, va- and everyone else is pissed about it. Can, like, I mean, Xbox made a good move with um, Minecraft going on Xbox Arcade and everything. Oh? Yeah. I mean, think about it. It's a great move. But the problem is now the Xbox... And the Xbox Arcade stuff is still allowed to be recorded. But if it was an actual Microsoft game, they'd have a hissy fit. Like, um, for the people who uh, do not know, like, the whole Rockstar copyright bullshit, when YouTube recently updated their copyright stuff, um, I lost a lot of ability to do things. And basically what happened is I had to take... it. No. Well, um, most of my GTA videos were taken down. That was a load of bullshit. And yes, I'm talking about that in this. I know that's kind of off, but it, it does relate to the copyright factor. Like, so many videos get taken down for, like, two seconds of music that isn't even there. And then you make the claim, and then when the claim fails, because YouTube's like, we're not even going to look at this, claim failed, suddenly, oh, look at that, you now have a claim on your account, and you cannot upload anything past five minutes or something like that bullshit. It was 15. I know. And then, it also takes away your ability to do videos on Unlisted for some reason. Yeah, that doesn't make much sense. And, and, I mean, how is it that YouTube partners can get away with this bullshit? Like, I don't care if Machinima is partnered up with all of those companies. That is extremely unfair. They mm. should get copyright claim as much. Like, I want to see Machinima get slapped with a copyright claim. I'm pretty sure they have. It's just that they refuted it and YouTube listens to that. Yeah, you know what's really bad about this, though? The fact that I'm also trying to make us this a Machinima Director um, web series, and I'm... <laughs> bad <laughs> yeah, you probably shouldn't do that. I probably but... should not. We love you guys. <laughs> Please don't <laughs> kill us. Um, but this ties back to Sopa and Pippa, too. Because, like, when they were... When they were supposing to be passed... I'm using words incorrectly. All right. When they were going to be passed... Not sent out a statement saying that, yeah, I'm going to issue a formal thing that you can still do Minecraft videos with my blessing if this passes. And that's what we need. We we need formal recognition from the people that made games that we could do videos on them after this bill got passed. I think there actually would be a lot of people who would do that, though, like Edmund McMullen, uh, Notch, um... Trying to think of any other, like, the small-time yet fun-time people. The guy who made Nintendo BVV, did BVV. it. <laughs> Nintendo did it? Yeah, Nintendo's even... Nintendo of Europe even did their own Let's Play before. <laughs> really? It was weird. Yeah! On their blog, they posted... Because, like... Oh, what was it now? It was one of those three games that wasn't going to be... That probably wasn't going to be released in America, but did anyway. I think it was, like, Last Story or something. Anyway, they did a Let's Play of that, strangely on their own official block, being like, yeah, here's a video of us playing it. <laughs> so when basically SOPA and people came around, they said, you guys can play our games, we don't care. Yeah, that, that would but explain. they did it. That would really explain why all of my Nintendo-based videos have not gotten a single copyright claim ever. Well, most video game companies don't really care that Let's Plays are oh, there. Oh, like Telltale it's... Games. Well, yeah. Telltale actually is a really nice company. Yeah. They're pretty. They're, they were small time though. They they started from like where did they start from? Oh, over there, Lucas Arts. That was it. They started from Lucas Arts, and then when Lucas Arts canceled the Seven Max series, the sequel that they were going to do, they're going to be like, fuck it, we're going to make our own. And so they did. 
Hmm. And they don't really... And, like, I get content ID matches on the Sam and Max videos, like every one that I put up. And it, and it doesn't stop me from doing anything. It's just like, yeah, this is from Telltale Games. That's pretty cool. Yeah, cool story, bro. You made a Telltale Games video. Keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's all it really is. Um, I What games does uh, the other ones make? You know, you said Rockstar and the other one that I keep forgetting its name. Uh, there's Take Two. There's, like, GTA, I think Bully falls under that. No, that's Rockstar. Uh, oh. That's Rockstar. Well, What's, both, what does Take both. Two even make? Oh, Take Two. Uh, damn, I forget off the top of my head. I don't know anything they make. I don't even, I've never even heard of that company until today. <laughs> I told you about it in the briefing. You heard it, you heard about it recently. Yeah, recently, but still, like, I don't know who they are. I've ne- If I've played one of their games, apparently they didn't put that much of an impact on me. Have you, uh, have you seen Jack Thompson's little thing? We'll probably get to that later. No. I haven't. Should we, di- should we discuss it now, or what? Why not? We got 15 more minutes. Okay, cool. Uh, you know who Jack Thompson is, though, right? Let's assume that I remember. <laughs> well, just in case some of you don't... Wink, wink. Um, he's a weird lawyer dude who, like, hates the video game industry something fierce. And calls video games in general murder simulators and crap like that. Whoa, wait, he wait, believes wait, 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 hold he's... on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hello. So are you telling me that the Sesame Street adventure game is a murder simulator. Apparently. Okay, 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 hold on, I got another one, I got another one. Um, okay, Power Rangers wouldn't count, they actually do murder things. Um, Dora the Explorer video game. <laughs> I noticed that these are all edu- educational games. Jump yeah. start. Uh, yeah. So, um, <laughs> obviously the Binding we, of Isaac I, I wanna, isn't. What? I want to get on with this now okay. before we bog down. <laughs> I'm and, sorry. So, murder simulators, all of them. <laughs> Let's just kind of assume that he's right and continue with the story. If he was right, and he sued people, he has sued people himself, like giant stations that make video games because they make video games. Oh, joy. Watch. Rockstar was one of them. Let's tie that back into this. Oh, bully. interesting. Continue. Uh, and then he sued, what was it? Oh, fuck, I forget now. But he sued the station that made a wrestling game because they could make a character that was him and beat him senseless. And he called that misuse of his image. But he wasn't in it, was he? <laughs> no. Not not Until from after. the beginning, anyway. Until after. <laughs> wow. Anyway, he uh, he made this thing called a modest video game proposal, which was a sad little reference to a modest proposal, where if someone makes a murder simulator, as he called it, with his exact specifications, he would give ten thousand dollars to charity. If someone made one, if someone made a game based on his exact specifications and released it, he would then. We donate ten thousand dollars to charity. Did anyone even try? Yeah, people tried and made it. Oh, but then they basically said, "Fuck you!" Now we're gonna make our own games again. Because I mean, please tell me that someone <laughs> they didn't stick to that or anything. They made the game, Which and one? he didn't give the and he didn't and he didn't give charity the money. <laughs> what? Okay, where does this guy live? Yeah. Okay, where does he live? Oh my. And then, and then, and then. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Penny Arcade gave the money to charity for him in his name. Woo! Go Penny Arcade. And he was like, fuck you. That is my name. And they're like, well, um, excuse me, princess, but that's what you said. By the way, you need to give me a picture of this guy so we can put something at the end of the video saying, find this man's house and rape him. Actually, no, we're yeah, not going to do that, because then we'd probably get arrested. But he should die. Not saying that I would kill him, or that I'm telling any of you to kill him, but he should die! He'll die eventually. He's an old Soon. man. Soon. Sorry, continue. 
<laughs> also, yeah, totally they got into a long spat, Panarcade and Jack Thompson. You can read up on that if you want. Quick Google should work. Um, we should probably put so, the article in the description. Sure, there's a few articles. Um, so he got the do- money donated to him. Money donated in his name, I mean. That would suck if people donated the money to him. <laughs> there's probably some people who agree with him, though. That's the sad part. And then there was... There was a massive uproar, and long story short, he is no longer allowed to practice law. Really? So he is not a lawyer anymore. Oh, well, then scratch, because... scratch what I said. He doesn't have to die. He can just live out the rest of his pitiful little life with no job that is of any substantialness, because truthfully, if you're a lawyer and then you can't practice law, what the hell else are you going to do? Yes. So and then he becomes a video game creator. video game copyright spat got him. I, I'd love to just piss him off and hire him to my video game company. <laughs> be our lawyer! What? No, no, no. Not be our lawyer. I'd hire him to make fighting games. Oh. Get it. Yes. And I'd say it has to have blood. <laughs> and, I mean, what else is he... I'm, I'm actually curious what he does for a job. If anyone knows what he does for a job, please put it in the description below description comments below because i want to know what this man does now because i if you've if you, you're a lawyer what else are you gonna do when you can't practice law like is he allowed to practice law anywhere i believe he is not he is oh no wait he might be but he was barred from practicing law in florida which i think where this whole thing started so he might have moved and is doing law now but probably no one uses him as a lawyer because they're like hmm. fuck that noise because they wouldn't Also, win. interesting tidbit, the game that was made to his specifications is freeware. You can all play it. What's it called? It's called I'm OK, a murder simulator. What? It's called I'm OK, a murder simulator. So it is a murder simulation. That's what he wanted it to be. That's what he wanted it to be. Wait, so he wanted a murder simulation? Yeah, he wanted a game based on murdering and killing everyone in video game companies. Oh, so killing people who worked for video game companies. Yeah. This makes more sense now, doesn't it? A lot you more, can yes. play the Yeah, you can play the game. I'll hmm. we'll probably put that in the description as well. Why not? Yeah. We'll put all this fun shit in the description, including some links to the What the Fuck Are You On articles, obviously, because that is an important thing. Um, also, since we don't have a lot of time left in our segment, since we still have to have save time for the outro, um, if you would still, if any of you have any interest in being part of the Late Night staff, you can submit your Late Night um, ideas by putting it as a video response to this video or any other video that we have made on this channel, or sending it as to a private message as an unlisted video. We will comment on it immediately, both one from me, one from Mario Master, telling you what we think. We are still looking for someone to hold a 15-minute show show segment. Um, maybe less. We're, the point is, we're just trying to get the show to an hour, and that's not including commercials, because if we become a real show, we might have commercials, but that's irrelevant at this point. Anyway... So we hope to see we hope to see some submissions from you guys. Mario I nodded. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you couldn't see that, I nodded. Right. Wow, we really didn't actually get to talk about much in the copyright stuff. Is there anything left for us to talk about though? Because we might have to do a part two on this. Or can we tie we it might. In, or can we tie it into something else? Hmm. I'm not sure if we can tie it into anything else. Well what else do we have to talk about? Can we cover it in two minutes? Well, it, the internet is a broad subject. I'm not sure if we can cover it in two minutes, but we shall save. We shall save copyright in the internet for later. Yep, there is will. probably a bunch of shit we could copyright. We could, we could copyright. We could, we could talk about. Actually, you know what? Let's go a little bit longer. Why not? We actually have. We're supposed to have an hour-long show, anyways, and this is only going to be 45 minutes. So let's keep going on copyright for a little while longer. All right. Next topic. Now that we've humiliated that man. <laughs> oh, Jack Thompson. They Oh, one last note about that. They made a comic about it. Really? Yeah. That's funny. Indeed. All right. what's the next on the agenda for copyright infringement and stuff like that? Well, I'm not sure. We talked about the documents, we talked about Jack Thompson for some reason, and we talked about Let's Plays. 
How about huh. what, what about talking about the reason for pe- for what people are doing? Okay. The re- like the reason that companies seem to think that copyright, like I don't see anything to support their train of thought at all. Like, where in where in their mind do they think? Let's not let these people get get to use the fair use policy that was made. And just say fuck you, it's copyrighted. Um, fair I... use policy is basically oh. stating that, as far as I know, and do not quote me on this, guys, because I'm not, I have not read up on it in a while. Basically saying that if you use it in fair use to not make any money in any way, shape, or form, it's not bad. So, Mario Master. That's why parodies get by as well. Well, yeah, th- they even have a support the official release thing on them, usually. I mean, we shouldn't have to... Let's players shouldn't have to put, please support the official release of the Dead Space game, of a uh, Sam and Max game, of fucking... B- 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 butts. I should make a game called that now. It'd be great. Anyway, um, I think it's mostly a panic attack, because there are a lot of people who are going to see some Let's Plays and be like, I'm not going to buy the game now, I saw all of it. But the thing about that well, is well, that let's... Well, to be fair, Duke Nukem Forever did suck. <laughs> but, like, okay, seriously. They're, in games that aren't exactly linear, they're normally only going to go one path. And in some games, that means that there's still a lot of the world to explore. Hmm. That is true. That is, unless they... So, some Let's Players only do it one way, but then they show off all of the different endings. Like, good, bad, somewhat bad, really bad, all those different endings. Like uh, Yeah, but endings you can find on YouTube anyway. Yeah, 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 but like, like for example, the, the uh, Catherine game. I don't know if you ever saw that game, but... um, I've heard of it. Yeah, it has, like... I don't know, five or six endings, and it's freaking... They're all completely different. Like, you actually have to do things in a certain way just to, like, get it the right way. Like, this is the neutral ending, this is the extremely bad ending, this is the extremely good ending. But then there's actually, like, this is the good ending with the other woman. It's like, what? And that actually throws me. I'm like, what? Anyways, we are getting way off topic. Anyways, copyright people need to just leave Let's Players alone. Let's Players are in usually playing games that they like to play to say, tell people, go buy this game. Like, I will straightforward tell you, almost basically all the games I've played on my channel, I would suggest to buy. I only say, I say almost, not all. <laughs> well, that... I normally do, like, random Let's Plays of games that were sometimes free, like yeah, the Salmon Mash. Well, that, that, we'll, we'll discuss this later. Um, yeah, we'll make it a topic. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, is it Mario Master finishes videos for fucking hour-long thing? Um, the Salmon Max game, one of those was free. Abe Lincoln, that was the one. Abe Lincoln Must Die is free. Yes. I did a let's play on that anyway, mostly because it was part of season one, but it's still a good game. It needs exposure. It probably has exposure. I'm getting it more. That is a true point. Like, for example, in my Dead Space let's play, you guys see me only play through it my way. There are, like, three other guns, um, 50 other different ways you could have leveled up your stuff, and a couple of different choices you could have made. So, basically, I'm helping. <laughs> I'm helping! But, like, no, it's fucking... It's, that's, that's what it is. It's like, you're either advertising the game for them, or you're providing sales for them. Yeah, it's one or the other. They shouldn't complain. Like, especially with GTA... I mean, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. That game is kind of well-liked, but kind of not, because it's really far off the normal, and a lot of people are skeptical, and there are so many different things that you could do in that game, and Rockstar Games has a hissy fit about people basically going like, hey, I want to show this game off, because I think you guys like it, 
And Rockstar's like, we don't care. We gonna shut you down. It's our shit. Bam. My god. I am so sorry for everyone who I just invented with that voice. <laughs> the pessimistic Mario Master strikes again. <laughs> I mean, for, um, exa for example, we use... 25, 14, 14 seconds from um, from a clip from a theme from a show called The Odd Couples. I freaking love that show. I and actually, I'm, he showed me it. You actually never saw the show? No. I just, I, the first episode I saw was the one you linked me to. See, it's exposure. Exactly. The Odd Couples is an awesome show. It's I'm, It's been off the air as far as I know. I mean, like, if it's still running right now somewhere, like, I'm surprised. But... I, no. But yeah, it's an amazing show. You guys should check it out. You guys should buy the DVDs if there are any. It's an awesome show. See, I'm giving an exposure and I'm getting them sales because it's an awesome show. I love the comedy in it. It's that kind of quirky comedy that um, is not so straightforward, I guess, is an easy way to put it. All right, anything else on copyright? Not that I can think of. We should do, like, revisit episodes... Where somebody, like, comments on shit, and we're like, oh, we missed that, and then we do, like, a junk drawer episode. Alright, guys, go back to our old episodes and comment on this video which episodes you feel like we missed something on. Kind of like the Myth Mythbusters. Do you think we missed something? If so, send us an email. No, actually, not an email, just a comment, because, well, our email that we use for this really doesn't get much attention anyway. <laughs> I mean, it's just our Gmail. I, I yeah. might, I, we might put out the email because it's not like we use it for anything else um so anyways guys now we're going to be moving back on once again to our second segment of the show what the fuck are you on hosted by our friend R today you can take up from here if you would like anything you wonderful would like to today penis injuries and pants that is basically the best summary I could give it <laughs> we are totally still a family show I don't know what you were talking about <laughs> we, we, we're a great friendly show. Watch it with your kids. Watch it with your grandparents. Watch it. So watch it with trouble. little Timmy, who is easily influenced because he, because he's a good Christian boy who's spent his whole life sitting inside with no TV or internet. You should expose him just to this episode. What the fuck are we on? <laughs> well, let's go find out on the next segment with R. See you guys after. Hello and welcome to What the Fuck Are You On? I'm your host for this segment, R. It's time to take a look at the idiots of the world in news. Since last time was oh so much fun and didn't drive me insane at all. Okay, well, let's get to our first story. Maybe it won't be as bad as the others. Okay, our first story has to deal with a guy who didn't learn not to stick things down his pants. Chicken down the set pants turns violent. Oh really? Okay. What started out as a attempt by a man to shoplift chickens by stuffing the bird down his pants took a violent turn in Petersburg, Ontario last Sunday. Hmm. Plant pants plus bird equals pocket, right? I know math now. Okay. Police said an employee watched a man place four packages of chicken down his pants and walk out the no frills grocery store. Ew. Well, at least they were still in the package. Well, and a security guard. At the store, tried to stop him from leaving. The man turned violent and punched him. Police said Jesse Adams Johnson, 31, is charged with theft, assault, with intent to resist arrest, and breach of probation. He is to appear in court April 21st. Okay. I've been doing this for what? Two episodes on late night, six on my own. I've been doing this long enough to know your pants are not a pocket. The pockets of your pants are. This guy really thought if he punched the guy, punch this guy, I can get away with. Get away. 
You can't run with chicken in your pants. Oh yes. At least the security guard noticed this guy's funny walk. I got a foul taste in my mouth. Next story, please. Okay, guys, let's be cleared here. I have never lied to you. I have always told you some version of the truth. Brazilian man busted for fake Jack Nicholson ID. In a cuckoo scheme to steal money, Brazilian man tried to open a bank account using a fake ID with a photo of Oscar winner Jack Nicholson's face. Here's Johnny! Police arrested Ricard Cigar in northeastern city and charged him for with using false documents and forgery, according to Brazilian news channel Global. This document with the photo of the actor and other false identification were used to start a fictitious company and with it, open a bank account. That way, he would use the limits on the checks and credit cards to steal money. The suspect who police said bore no resemblance to Nicholson 74 was also carrying identification documents belonging to other people. Authorities released a copy of the phony ID which features a photo of the acclaimed actor Jack Nicholson who has won Academy Awards and Oscars for One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest in terms of endearment and as good as it gets alongside a fingerprint and signature of Josh Pedro dos Santos. The suspect who denies charges were taken to the police station and later sent to nearby hospital for mental association. Um, this guy thought he was Jack Nicholson. You can't handle the truth! Really though, a fake Jack Nicholson ID. Most, iron most iconic man ever. Okay, what's next? Burglaries happen all the time, right? Well, our next story has a burglary. Couple find Robert at home with no pants. Manchester, New Hampshire. Authorities were given a bizarre description of an alleged robber in Manchester on Sunday. Sir, he had no pants! The investigators with the Manchester Police Department said the intruder was naked from the waist down. He has no pants on. He had a t-shirt, no pants, no boxers, no nothing. So I yelled for Derek, said, said resident Lindsay Bohr. Bolton. It's an unwelcome wake-up call for Bolton and her boyfriend, Derek McNutt. Bolton had just fed her five months old baby and put him back to bed when she came face to face with a man who appeared to be very drunk in her living room. He acted like he was going to leave and he then chased him away. Bolton said, Derek and I went this way and he had a bat. And not just a baseball bat. McNutt said the struggle with the suspect who grabbed anything he could get his hands on. He threw vice grips at me. I threw them right back, McNutt said. McNutt even grabbed his baby's high chair to defend himself. I just threw the high chair at him. And it broke. <laughs> At one point, the couple raced down to the back of the stairs, grabbed a baseball bat from the truck, but the door locked behind them. They tried to get the front door, but it was locked. They were frantic to get back inside where their three-year-old daughter and baby were sleeping. 
I need to get the door open to get back in there whether I got hit by a bat or not Bolton said they got back inside and a neighbor rushed to their apartment to help McNutt said he finally threw a shovel at the intruder who then grabbed a pair of McNutt's sweatpants and left the building police arrested Joshua O'Shiel 31 of Epston on the street moments later he was very vague when in his assessment what's going on Manchester Police Department detective Robert Keating said police said O'Shea told them he went to the apartment to meet his girlfriend why what is it with people and no pants did this guy think it was his home and take off his pants and read the paper oh my <laughs> um okay keep your fucking pants on okay this is too much let's maybe our next story will at least have pants oh yeah I get to talk about everyone favorite unpolite subject porn lucky me woman says 3d porn made her pregnant husband claims anything's possible an American woman claims she became pregnant after watching a 3D porno. Ooh, fancy. 3D porn. <laughs> yeah! U.S. military man Eric Johnson come, came home from, from Iraq to find his wife pregnant. Clearly, she had an affair. But his wife, Jennifer claims that the other man was actually a little less physical it seems he actually buys her story however I see it as suspicious the films in 3d are very real with today's technology anything is possible he said what even more interesting is that both Jennifer and Eric are white but the child is black Jennifer claims the kid looks like the black porn star she had been ogling but she also claimed this was this was the first time she watched porn and only went with her friends for 3D effects Tech guy did a survey of one person and found 100% would say the similar situation. Even though my husband believes in me, my marriage could be at risk. Jennifer said, but he knows I'm faithful. It just shows you what doing the military does to your head. Jennifer explained that a m month after watching the movie, I started feeling dizzy and results were positive. That must have been one good porno. It knocked me up good. Lady, what the fuck are you on? It's a proven fact. Porn cannot knock you up. Even if it's in 3D. This shows why we can't have nice things. Some people don't know how they work. Okay, um, maybe I should get to another topic before 3D porn drives me nuts. Oh great, this next one has to do with how pants again. Man claims his genitals were burned by urinal in Arby's. Mm-mm, good burn genitals. Monument, Colorado. An Aurora man is upset with an Arby's restaurant and has filed a lawsuit after he said he was badly burned by the store's urinal. The incident allegedly happened two years ago at the Arby's. 
monument. But the man just filed a bizarre lawsuit against the restaurant. Claims his generals were burned badly using the journal inside the store's men's restroom. Must have been inside the store itself. Must have been next to the kitchen sink, too. Okay, let's get back to the topic. Okay. The five page lawsuit was filed in El Paso County District Court on May 25th. The lawsuit claims that Dejo was utilizing the urinal in the men's restroom when it caused the jet of steam to shoot up from the urinal and burnt its genitals. Ow! Please, no more. Please, story. Please, no more. Dotry claims his report of the incident to an employee who, according to the lawsuit, claimed we have bath, we have that bathroom problem again, and this happens. The sink is in the kitchen running. Dotry's lost lawyers told said he was trying to his trying to settle the case. Miss Arby's outside of court and couldn't comment further. Lawsuits claim Daltrey is seeking damages for financial losses and result of his injuries not being able to have sex with his wife. The store manager hadn't heard about the lawsuit. A spokesperson for the company issued a statement saying, We want our we want to reassure our customers that we are committed to providing quality food and safe and healthy environment. Since this matter is litigation, we've been advised not by our attorney that we are unable to discuss. Dotry's lawyers did not specify how much they are helping to settle for or why it took two years for them to file the suit. First, I have to say ouch. And this happens more than once. Why didn't you sue the first time? Why did it take two years? Seriously. And who connected the hot water and the steam outlet to the urinal? And kitchen sink plus urinal equal bad idea for plumbers. Well, that's all I got for today. Back to you, Ozzy and Sharon. Please keep your pants on, please. Sharon! Mario Master, you realize we aren't Ozzy Osbourne and Sharon. Uh, Sharon, I think we should end the show now. Oh, I suppose you're right. Well, I have been Hunsters. And I have been Ozzy Osbourne. I mean, the Mario Master. And next time, we will tackle the internet. Oh, Make sure to leave oh. comments in the comment section below. Subscribe, rate, like, all that fun shit. Oh, and we shall see you next time on Late Night. Bye-bye. Is it over? Or can you take me home? Sharon! Fuck, voice crack. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. That wasn't even me. That was, that was like, that was nature's call. <laughs> okay, I'm keeping this as bloopers. You should keep this as bloopers. This is fucking amazing. It's hard to scream, by the way.